Hey, it's Amy and I teach you how to make money with your art. I'm going to do an unboxing of some art supplies here in just a moment. I'm gonna just pull you up first on my computer like I usually do. So give me a moment to pull you up on Amy Parker Art Facebook page, which you are watching this from most likely. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Sometimes it just takes a little second. And I went shopping yesterday. I had to get some stuff for the house. Regular old um, household things um, when I was at Wally World. But I also picked up some art supplies. Not a bunch, but I did get some. And I wanted to do an unboxing on live so you can see what I got. Oh, okay, here we are. Here's the video. I'm just pulling it up. Go ahead and say hi when you pop on so I can see who's here. Hello, Terry. Thanks for being on. Um, yeah, I have some fun and exciting things to talk about with you. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and um, take a peek inside. Hello, Daryl, a.k.a. Creative Warrior. Love it when you all do that. Um, if you haven't texted me yet, this is probably backwards. Yep, this one's backwards. Um, I'm not going to flip my screen right now because I don't want to lose you. Sometimes techie glitches happen like that. So if you haven't texted me yet, go ahead and grab your phone. Text me at, if you're in the U.S., 603-273-6187. And just say, hello, it's whatever your name is. Add me to your text. And I will. Hello, Gloria. That way you can be notified when I go live. All right, so um, when was the last time you got any art supplies? Let me know, let me know. Um, hi, Madeline. Yes, it is some fun art. Every time we get art supplies, it's fun, right? I mean, for artists, I mean, it's just awesome. All right, first off, I got a whole, I should have called this unbagging because actually it's in a bag. It's not even in a box. But I got a whole bunch of these Apple Barrel craft paints. And I know some people are like, oh, you shouldn't use Apple Barrel because they're not the greatest. No, they're not the greatest. But it is the greatest when they are super low cost and you need them to do backgrounds or, you know, you're practicing paintings. I've sold numerous paintings to my collector base with just, um, you know, the fluid craft paints. Um, those of you that follow me and know about my art, I usually um, embellish that with my heavy body paints on top of it. But that's another story. But I just wanted to show you what I got. So I got, like, the basic colors. I'm going to look up and see how much these cost now because I didn't even know I was just throwing stuff in the bag are you like that and then I got to the register and of course it was mixed in with all of my house um houseware stuff that I had to get and I get all these receipts in here but when you're in your when you run your own art business like I do if you do this if you happen to go to Walmart and you grab a whole bunch of stuff like groceries and household items and arts and craft supplies Make sure you save your receipts because tax season, right? We want to make sure that we can write this stuff off, which we can. Um, Gloria says, my sister bought me an easel and brushes for my birthday. Oh, my God. That is an amazing birthday present, Gloria. When was your birthday? Happy birthday. Um, that is so cool. I'm due for a new easel myself. I'm still using my old wooden one that I've had for years, and I love it. I, I do have a couple of um, couple of table easels and one one that I use for plein air painting. But geez, my I just bought these new glasses. Are you proud of me? Have you seen me on here with my broken glasses that I taped all up? Well, these are readers slash blue light. So I got these also when I got my art supplies because I'm like I can't just keep doing lives with broken glasses. I mean, I could, but, you know, I'm sure you're, like, laughing at me about it. Um, Gloria says she uses Apple Barrel, too. Yes, I love them. I also love the Art Deco, uh, but the Apple Barrel is even cheaper. Um, well, happy birthday, late birthday on March 5th, Gloria. And I'm glad that, oh, Madeline said happy birthday to you, too. I'm so glad that you got those amazing presents. 
I mean, an easel score. All right, let me see. Even with my glasses, it's kind of hard to see this, but let me see. Boop, boop, boop. Oh my, I've got, look at all this. I got so much stuff. Tim's like, don't spend a lot of money. Okay. Well, I hadn't been shopping in a while and I needed to get a whole bunch of stuff. So let me try and find where the paints are. Ba, ba, ba. 250. 250. Okay, so these eight ounce um, bottles are 250. I also got some smaller bottles. Let me see if I can find. I'm surprised I even saw that. And after I'll go through and I'll circle all the art supplies and glasses. This is a write off too because I need these to be on live with you. So do that with your own receipts as well. There's a business tip from me. Make sure you go through and you circle those. Let me see if I can find the, the smaller paints. I want to see how much that was. And I'll show you what colors I got. Um, I even want to try one out that I got as well. Like some glitter stuff. So I'll show you that in a second. Of course, they're not all together. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Cheese, dark carrots, peas. Oh, I guess you don't need to know all that right now. You know what we eat. Folgers coffee. <laughs> um, I got some stuff for the baby. Um, sea salt, blah, 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 pineapple. Am I saying anything that you eat at home too? Or that you, you like to have cool glasses? Madeline says they look great. Aw, Daryl. Thanks for saying happy birthday to, to her. And Daryl just swam with the dolphins for her birthday. I mean, come on. That's an amazing... You, you guys both had amazing gifts. Swimming with the dolphins and getting an easel. I mean, come on. Um, ba, 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 ba. I'm still seeing 250 all down through here. I'm just trying to, and it's not showing me the ounces. So I'm just trying to see if the smaller one was a lower price, which it probably is. But I literally, I'm sorry, I'm having like a cramp here trying to read it. So, well, just, uh, I'm just going to assume that it was a lower price or maybe not. May, it, maybe not because I did get the extreme glitter paints as well and these oh maybe because i was looking at the wrong paint because this one is the folk art um glitter i got the hologram tell me if you've gotten this stuff if you tried it out the glitter acrylic plaid it's by plaid it's the folk art extreme and i got this um you know silvery silvery one and i also got um I, and this has super coverage on it as well. And I also got the champagne one. So one is the champagne. This is the champagne. And then I got the, the hologram. And these are the two ounces. Let me just see if I can see the folk art or the plaid on here real quick. I won't bore you with me just looking at the receipt, but I just wanted to see... If I could tell you what it was. There's just so many items on here. It's hard to find everything. But I want to know if you've tried any of this glitter paint. Um, no. I was going to read you my coffee. I thought that was saying folk, but it's Folgers. Whatever. Well, we're not going to get stuck on that. Nice. I want to try metallic, says Gloria. Yes. And I'm going to try these on camera. Um, as soon as I show you everything that I got, I'm going to, I'm going to try those on camera because I want to see what they come out like as well. Hey, tell me if the link's working that I put on here. It's for the art business workshop. If you're not in there yet, I know most of you are, uh, but if you're not in there, go ahead and do you guys see, let me know if you see a link on here that goes to the art business workshop. It's free. So you can get, just go in sign up for that unless you're a creative warrior you don't have to sign up you're already in um if you do no biggie no biggie all right so the the paint colors i want to tell you i always get the primary colors in a black and white and i do like to get a brown too because it really is kind of difficult to like mix a good brown color so i always get a brown um i didn't grab any burnt umber which I usually do too I just got the lighter color brown this time which is the nutmeg 
but I got, um, like I said, the black and the white, and these are the eight ounces, and then I got the, I got the um, primary colors, uh, oh, and I got a green, so I got the primary colors, the red, blue, yellow, because you literally can mix any color with the primary colors, so that will save you money if you want to mess around in your multimedia pad or try something new um, or whatever. Once you're selling a lot of paintings and you want to splurge and get all kinds of different colors, go for it. Um, if you want to do it now, you can go for it as well. But like I always tell you, the primary colors, black and white and um, a brown. Uh, but I did, I did grab the green too. I think it's Christmas. Yeah, it's a Christmas green even though it's not Christmas right now, but um, the Christmas screen is kind of kind of neat. Um, I'm actually, I know darn well that I need yellow open right now. I wouldn't suggest to open your paints unless you are going to use them like sometime in the near future. This one I know I definitely am. So I'm gonna show you a little um, trick if it works on camera, Ho hopefully it does. I'm going to show you a little bit, a uh, little trick on how I get these top pieces open because they're really sometimes a pain in the butt or sometimes I stick a knife in it and like, but the easiest way that I found, I could be shooting myself in the foot because it might not work on camera, but the easiest way that I found to open the inside of the, the craft pants is by just using your little, um, your little wire, I was going to say wire cutters, needle nose ply pliers. And these ones have like a uh, grip on them. I like, I like the grippy ones. And I also use these to wire back my paintings. As you know, you've probably seen me do that numerous times on here. So with your acrylics, I'm not going to actually use it right now, but if I was shake it up really good, I always want to do that. But you don't want to open these too early. Like if you already have some stacked, like I do in your creative space, then um, you know, wait till you have to use it because if you open it, even if you have the cover on, it just sometimes with the acrylic, if air gets in there, it can just start to get goopy and dry up a little bit or get crusty. Um, of course this one doesn't have like a little lip. Sometimes they have a little lip on here that you can pull off with this, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to try and like grab the sides. Oh yeah, I think it will work. I just kind of grab the sides and pull that off like so and that this is kind of dangerous I am doing this over my computer bad move I probably should not be holding the paint over my computer hello thanks so much for popping on um, I appreciate you being here I'm so excited because I have exciting stuff to tell you and I'm unboxing slash unbagging some art supplies that I got yesterday. And this time I literally was just at Walmart getting regular household stuff. And I had to get some art supplies. Oh, I better leave these out. Don't let me throw those back in because I told you I wanted to try the glitter in the, um, you know, I want to see what these look like. I want to see what they look like. See if I like those. I think that I will. These really will add special I have like the metallics but these ones are actually like the glitter this glitter in here and it really adds a nice beautiful touch to your paintings if you like that type of look some people do some people don't um but my collectors seem to really like it so okay in my unbagging here's another thing I got it's actually not art supplies but I need it for my business to ship out my paintings um a lot of you ask me about shipping. I've done numerous videos about that, but I use the Scotch um, packing and shipping tape. So I get the big rolls like this, and then I just put it on my, whatever you call it, that little holder thing where you can just roll it. I have those already in the closet, so I don't need, I didn't need another one of those. But yes, this is good tape. You don't want to, um, you don't want to be stingy on the tape because it will really make you want to pull your hair out when you're trying to wrap your paintings to ship out of your home studio. Um, so don't, don't skimp on that. 
All right, I'll show you some brushes I got. And also, I don't know if the brushes were actually from Wally World or not. Um, I can't remember if I got these there, but I had this set sitting next to my bag. So this one is the, uh, the brush value pack Royal. Um, I love how they do this on the back. I know the camera's kind of backwards, but look at that. Isn't that amazing? It shows you the different, uh, brushes and what they can do, right? So this one is the round brush and I mean, of course, you can do all kinds of cool things with brushes, as you know. Um, but I really like how they show you this. It's like the round brushes, and you can do these little kind of swirlies. It just gives you like a glimpse of what they can do. And then the flat brush, you know, it's for filling in, um, cover a bigger space. The filberts, I love these so much. Of course, you know, my favorite brush is the angle brush. But the filberts are cool too, and you can make some really cool little, look at that little flower, the petals. And I like the filbert too for like impressionistic looking style and making backgrounds and things like that. Let me know, let me know if the link is working to the Art Business Workshop. Tell me if um, you guys see it. Do you even see it on here? And stars, I got stars now. Um, if you send me any stars, I will give you a shout out. And I, I'm just trying to read read the comments here. Um, bright? I never even heard that. But hey, I learn something new every day. That's what they're calling this brush, which basically just looks like a flat brush. Then they have the angle, the detail, and the fan. I like what they, they showed you this cute little tree that you can make with a fan brush. I know if we've all done Bob Ross paintings, we've done that, right? Have you used the fan brush for trees? Let me know, let me know. Okay, something else that I got. Something else that I got um, was this uh, sketch pad. I was kind of, I was debating, like, should I get the one with the, the spiral or just the one that's completely, you know, bound? But I chose to go with the spiral. I just think for me, it's easier to just flip it. Let me know which one you prefer, but it is so important as artists for us to have a smaller sketchbook. I was just talking with somebody today, my friend Christine, about this. And um, it's so important to have a sketchbook that we can just throw in our purse, keep in our car, or whatever, so that when we have a creative idea, we always have something that we can create on, even if we're doing chicken scratches or whatever, and you can write notes in here, like, oh, I have this amazing idea for a painting, I need to write it down. Um, so yeah, let me know if you have one of these. Of course, they come in all different sizes. This one's Daler, uh, Roni, Simply. Um, this size is a five by eight, five point, five and a half by eight and a half. And um, I even have one a little bit smaller, but this is a cool size. This is a cool size right here. This one even has the perforated, um, perforated paper. So if you know, if you want to rip it out, I'm probably just going to keep everything in here. So let me know if you have one of these. Um, like I said, super helpful. We always want to make sure we have something by us when we are inspired. So anyway, I didn't get a whole lot, but you know, I got my my um, apple barrel paints. I got these new paints that we're gonna try out right now so I can see how they look. I'm also going to, hopefully not, I got my coffee right next to my water jar, which is not a good idea, people, because, because we do not wanna dip our brush in our coffee. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm going to use my multimedia paper to um, use my multimedia pa paper to try the um, the glitter, the glitter, so we can see what that comes out like. Gonna grab a palette. Might as well try some of these new brushes, right? Let's try some of these. See what happens in here. Yeah, I really love, well, I really would love to be able to pull these out. <laughs> they seem to be kind of stuck right now. Where's my scissors? 
Cut this. It has like a one of those little plastic pieces keeping it from opening and closing. Oh yeah, and my darn trash bucket is not in here either, which I thought it was. I remember I worked upstairs in Emily's room the other day and brought it up there, so I gotta get another one in here. But I'm gonna save this. Um, oh look, and it comes with this cool. When you get your brushes in packs like this, it does come with these cool little carry cases, which is neat. Like you could actually put some brushes in here with even like a little bit of paint if you have the closable containers. And then you could put these two things together to leave in your car or your purse, or if you're taking a walk and you wanna go sit somewhere pretty. That's a cool idea. Uh, but I'm gonna save this. Probably hang it up somewhere in the studio. I think that's kind of neat. I don't know, just, yeah, I know how to use brushes, but it's just a nice little reminder. And then just like, you know, when you bought your kids all these Barbie things and all these little pieces when they were, you know, your kids or your grandkids, and then you have to like undo a whole bunch of things to get your toys out. <laughs> Just like that, that's what we're doing here, to get these brushes out. We'll give these a shot as well. Gloria says, good idea. Yeah, I think so. Good, I'm glad you like it. Glad you like it. Um, so if you are, if you're watching this now, or you're watching the recording, and you didn't sign up for the free Our Business Workshop, go ahead and do so. When the live is over, I'm not sure if the link will still be on here or not. If it's not, just say workshop and I'll come back and I'll give it to you, okay? So that you can be part of that. That's going to happen on May 8th. We will not be painting in the Art Business Workshop. We're going to be talking all about how you can make money with your paintings and all about how to start your own art business online. Whether it's just a side hustle or you want a full-time full gig someday like I do, whatever the case may be. Um, this is so fun. It's so fun to hold. All, and they're all clean, so I don't have to worry about getting um, paint all over myself. Uh, Barb, okay, I'll come back and give that to you. Barb wants to get in with all of you in the free art business workshop. Barb, there might actually be a link in this video somewhere. Um... Usually my peeps let me know if I ask them to check something out. Do you all see my link? Because I did, I thought that I put a link in here um, that Barb can just go touch and just go right there to sign up. But if not, Barb, then I will come back after the video and I will give that to you. Okay. Um, first of all, i got to open these. I probably shouldn't have put this back. Shouldn't have put this back. Hey, I want to give you a heads up to my friend Cheryl. You all know Cheryl. Um, uh, she's going to be on live with me to Wait, is today Tuesday? It is Tuesday, right? Um, I believe it's Tuesday. I just had a brain cramp. But my friend Cheryl Hughes, she's going to be um, on live with me tomorrow. I believe it's 1 o'clock. And we got some fun things for you tomorrow, her and I. Um, she's going to be walking you through this beautiful, whimsy painting. So, for those of you that want to paint, get ready to do that with Cheryl and I tomorrow. It's going to be a good idea. I'm not sure if I'm actually going to paint it or if I'm going to be working on some of my paintings um, that I have for my collectors. Either way, we're both going to be painting and you can ask us questions. This one is a little difficult. It doesn't have like a lip on here, so it's taken me a minute. And I'm wondering if I have to, um, I might have to paint a little black background on here first. I'm not sure. Or blue or something like that to see the glitter. We'll try it. We'll try it. See what happens. But, um, yeah. Super excited to try these, these glitter, these glitter pieces. All right. Do, 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 do. Make sure you shake your acrylics up. Make sure you do that. We'll try, those of you that do use glitter paints, oh good, this one doesn't even have that white uh, film on the top, um, probably because it had the, you know, I had to cut open the piece that was on the cap. 
So I'm assuming this one is the same way. Voila, we don't have to do that extra step. It's already opened. It might, it might be kind of hard to see on camera. It might just look like white paint to you. But I can see like some glitter in here. And I'm just, I'm excited to see what it's gonna look like after it dries. So we'll try that. We will try that. Give it a try. All right, so this one is the champagne. I don't even know why I got this one. I already do have some champagne. Actually, I do know why, because I have like the straight metallic champagne, but I didn't have the glitter, extreme glitter. So I just put that right there in the black. I'm not sure if you can see that. These are really fine pieces of glitter in this, this brand that I bought. So it might not show up good on camera, but it just just trust me that it looks really cool in person and will give your painting like a beautiful little um you know glittery look like a shit little sheen to a little shine to it we don't want to make an entire painting well i mean i guess you could but i wouldn't want to make an entire painting with it but i would use it to um highlight some special accent some special spots inside of my painting. That's what I would, would do with it. Let me know what you like to use your glitter for in your paintings. Okay, hopefully I don't get any of my hair. Just colored my hair today. You proud of me? Proud of me? You don't have to look at my gray when I bend down anymore. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll get brave and just go all natural. All right, let's pick a brush. Let's pick a brush, people. Let's pick something that's gonna kind of show up here. Might as well, I'm gonna use one of this flat one. That flat piece right there. Dip that in my water. Let's see if you can see what's happening here. We'll try this. Uh, like I said, I might have to put, I might have to put a, another color down first, but OMG, I love it. I'll hold this up to the camera after so you can see what it looks like. And here's the white one. Uh, brain cramp, what did I say it was called? This one's the hologram. And it is uh, 2796. I guess they have numbers on this one. 2796 hologram. This one is the lighter one. And of course, my multimedia paper is, you know, white, so it might be kind of hard for you to see. But I will hold it up to the camera, like I said, in a moment. It is gorgeous, what I'm seeing already. But I want to put, <coughs> I want to put just, oh yeah, that's right. I didn't even open this one yet. Let me get my black that's not open. That's already open. Um... I don't know, you guys. What was I just going to say? I just had a brain cramp. I just had a brain cramp. I'm good like that. I've got a little black. I'm going to grab a little bit of blue. Who wants to paint with my friend Cheryl tomorrow? You're going to be here. You're going to be hanging out with us. I'm super excited. She's going to shoot me over a picture later. Um, she already sh showed me, but she was going to uh, get a different, a better picture together so that I can put right here on the page and that way you can see what we're painting tomorrow. Uh, but who's excited to do that? Let me know, let me know, let me know. All right, so I'm just gonna grab with the, this is like just a medium flat, flat brush. I'm just putting some black on here just because I wanna see what the, what the contrast is gonna look like and what's gonna happen with this fun, glitter paint. I mean, I could see this in like a beautiful, like fantasy type of thing. Oh my gosh. One of my creative warriors, Debbie, um, Debbie, if you watch this, I totally could see you using this type of, um, glittery paint with your artwork. Cause Debbie really has that fun, imaginative and, um, fantasy look to like a lot of her pieces they're gorgeous and i really think that would look nice it would look nice but this would look good even in like 
water like a waterfall to kind of put some glitter don't don't worry i'm gonna i'm gonna hold this up to the camera after so that you can see if you want to ask me anything go ahead and if i happen to miss right now i will go back and check you know me i'm all about making sure i answer you if you want to give me a few stars go for it they're literally pennies and um that would be super awesome because this platform is like, hey, let's try out the stars with Amy. All right, so I'm just trying to let this dry a little bit, which with your multimedia paper, it should dry pretty fast. As you know, we've done numerous tutorials with the multimedia pad here on the page. And I always tell you that if you're painting on the multimedia pad, it's going to dry a lot faster than if you're painting on a canvas. All right, so let me once again try these two and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right, let's try the champagne, extreme glitter champagne. I'm wondering what it's gonna look like when it's dry too. It might look a little bit different. Okay, that's the champagne. Now I'm going to try the Extreme Glitter Hologram, which is like the lighter one. The lighter one. Let's see how this comes out. So the reason that I'm doing the Art Business Workshop is because I did it last year, and all of you who took part absolutely loved it. And so did I. It was super helpful to anyone that wants to sell their paintings online or their drawings. Um, and I'm super excited to help you out. Plus, we'll be opening the doors to Creative Warriors that day for only five days. So that's why we're doing all these cool, fun things. Oh, it smells a little bit. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but I get like, I don't, I'm like super sensitive with smells. I mean, my smell is starting to come back to me now because you know that I was sick for a while. Madeline, thank you for the stars, Madeline. You are amazing. Thank you. Shout out to Madeline. She's also one of my creative warriors and an amazing painter. Beautiful paintings. Um, so if you're not all checking out Madeline, you got to do that too. She does like... Um, some five minute drawings and things like that. She draws and paints like I do. And uh, yeah, her paintings are great. But yeah, this, this stuff definitely has a little smell to it, which I'm not liking. Um, my family's always like, are you serious? You're like so sensitive. But yeah, I'm not liking the smell, but I'm liking what it's looking like. So let me bring this up and see if you can tell See if you can see that. Um, like I said, it's really, really fine, um, fine pieces in there. So the top one is the um, the champagne, and the the bottom one is the the uh, hologram which came out white at first, but then it looks like it's going to dry clear. And then on the black is the, um, okay, the hologram is on this side of both of these colors, on top of the blue and on top of the black. And then the champagne is on this side. So you can kind of see, tell me if you can see it. Does it look okay to you? Can you actually see that beautiful little flakes of shine in there? I mean, it's actually really gorgeous. I just don't like the smell. Um, I can literally see already that that this is starting to dry. Um, the white, which is the, the hologram. I'm saying it's white, but it actually dries clear. And it's super pretty. So I'm glad that I grabbed these. If you um, missed the whole unboxing slash unbagging that I did a little while ago. Um, no fear, because I leave all the recordings right here on the page. You, you can come back and check it out. Um, Gloria says she loves it and it looks great. 
Um, Daryl says the glitter paint is really pretty. Yeah, I think it is too. Thanks for saying that, Daryl. I'm excited. I'm excited. But yeah, you can um, you can use them to put little accents on your pieces. And tomorrow at one o'clock, I'll be live with my friend Cheryl, and we're going to be painting together. Um, she's gonna walk you through a really pretty little whimsy painting that you can probably even put some of this this on with. The brand name Gloria is, um, this is Folk Art. Folk Art by Plaid. Folk Art by Plaid. I know it's it's backwards here, right? Um, let me, uh, I was gonna try and flip around, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go there. I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose it. <laughs> I don't wanna lose it. Hello, Katie. Um, so yeah, we just did an unboxing, unbagging of some art supplies. Went over and showed you some of the paints I got. Um, a little art journal. You can use it for an art journal or a little sketch pad, carry it around. Uh, Gloria agreed with me to make like, use the, the bag from like your paints, your paint brushes. You can put some brushes and a little bit of paint in here. And you could even carry that around in your car, in your purse, whatever. Um, <laughs> howdy, Katie. There should be a button on here for the Art Business Workshop uh, that you can click and go sign up and then get right into that. We start that on uh, May 8th on Mother's Day. If you don't see it, just say workshop and I'll come back and give it to you right after the video. Um, Ba, 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 ba. If you have any questions, you can shoot out and ask me. Thank you again, Madeline, for the stars. I appreciate that. So excited. That's the third time I've gotten stars so far. So, yay. I'm glad that you're really liking what's happening. Um, I want to just quickly uh, check out my notes because I always have notes hanging around. I'm going to move this, too, because I don't want to get... Ugh. I want to get high off that uh, smell there. But um, it's just because I'm super sensitive, you guys. It's really not that bad. I'm just being a baby. <laughs> um, so the Art Business Workshop, right? It's for anyone that loves to create um, paintings, drawings, even if it's arts and crafts, whatever. If you would like to figure out how to like market this and how to like start gaining some customers, collectors, things like that. That's why I set up the Art Business Workshop. Um, so it matters to you if you would like to figure out how to do this and fast track things a little bit. I kind of am wary about even saying that that word, fast track, because being in business, right? My creative warriors are on here too. They know um, everything doesn't really happen super, super fast. Sometimes we get wins that we're like, oh my God, that's so surprising. I didn't even know that I was going to sell that painting or whatever, but it does take a little while to build up, but it's certainly what I designed for you would help you fast track faster than doing it yourself. Because, you know, in the beginning, I wish that I had, um, an art business mentor to help me, to walk me through, uh, things like that. Um, so that's why I set that up for you. Um, and what's included is going to be three modules that will be released. One, the first module on the, uh, May 8th and then May 9th and May 10th will be uh, module one, two, and three. And um, yeah, it's gonna be super cool because um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you about how, uh, give you basically my secrets on how I, I made a place online. This is for all of you that want to figure out how to make some sales online with your art. Um, you can do it in person and on, uh, online, doesn't matter. Uh, but I'm all about like online. So anyway, the first module is about how to set up a space um, to start gathering people that are interested in your artwork. Even if you're like, well, I didn't sell a painting yet, or I don't have, I, I uh, don't have any art collectors, whatever the case may be, that's okay, because we all start with zero. And when I um, started a space for my collectors and my collector base, I, you know, I didn't even know if it was gonna work, but it did. So that's why I wanted to help you out with that. 
Um, yeah, I just figured I'd put something here so you can look at it. You've probably already seen that. Um, and then the, the other modules are about how to, um, how to, um, you know, present your work, how to, how to build excitement about your work and how to, uh, present it. And I'm also going to be live for you, uh, for those three days. Plus we are going to do prizes as well for art supplies so if you're super pumped about that which i am go ahead and jump in um just say workshop i'll come back and give that to you thank you all for hanging out and checking out my um little unboxing unbagging um madeline thank you so much for the stars i appreciate that so much honey and um don't forget check out the page later because if Cheryl sends, hopefully she will, she'll send me a picture of what, what she's going to be painting tomorrow. And I'm going to hop on a live with her at one o'clock. And you all know Cheryl. She's amazing. She's one of my business friends that I went on my art business retreat with back in January, which inspired me to create this painting, um, as well as some others that we did. And um, she's so fun. She's got a really cool little painting to do. All right. So I hope that you all have a wonderful night and I will catch you tomorrow. Okay, mwah, mwah, mwah. I'll see you later. Bye.